the Mlara Vitali. On this episode of Mlara in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my simple seared salmon over garlicky spinach and mushrooms. It's a wonderful dish, it's super healthy, but it is just delicious. And I love recipes like this where they're simple to do, they don't require a lot of ingredients, but it just showcases the ingredients that you're using so, so well. So before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're going to need some fresh baby spinach that have been washed and dried. You want some beautiful little cremini mushrooms that I've sliced. Just one tomato chopped, some garlic, tiny bit of balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, olive oil, and of course you're going to need salmon. But because we're going to make the spinach saute first, I like to keep the salmon in the fridge to keep it cold until last minute. So this is how simple it is. I have a saute pan here with high sides with just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. To that, I'm going to add in some garlic. It's not quite hot yet and that's fine because I really want the garlic flavor to infuse in the oil. So I'm just going to let that heat up and come to temperature and then the garlic starts to become fragrant. To this we're going to add in our sliced mushrooms and I don't have this over very high heat. I have this over about medium heat and I want it that way. And I'm also going to season the mushrooms now which if you've been following me for a while you know that I don't like to season mushrooms until they've browned. But I don't want these mushrooms to become crunchy and dark. I want them to be kind of soft and plump and beautifully sautéed. So I want a little bit of the moisture to come out. So it's okay to season them if you want it that way. So what I'm going to do is cook these for about three to four minutes or until they start to cook down. And then we'll add in our next ingredient. The mushrooms have been cooking for about four minutes. They look perfect. So now I'm going to crank the heat up to medium high. And to that I'm going to add in the chopped tomato. Now the tomato, it doesn't make a sauce, but it becomes something so that it's not just sautéed mushrooms. It gives it a little more viscosity to it. So I really, really like that, but if you don't want it, you don't have to put it in there. I'm also going to just put a little more pinch of salt because I did taste the mushrooms and they weren't as salty as I liked them. A little bit of black pepper. And I'm just going to cook these down for just two to three minutes and then we'll add in our final ingredient. That looks fabulous. Now to this, we're going to add in our washed baby spinach. I buy them from the store this way. They're perfect. They're double washed, they're dry, they're great. I'm going to put the lid on, I'm going to put this down to low. I'm going to leave it like that for just a minute or two or until the spinach becomes wilty and then I can stir it. That's perfect. Now just stir this all the way in. And now the spinach is perfect for me. I just don't want it to have some body. I don't want it to be completely wilted. So this is actually going to be the end of the cooking time. Turning this off and I'm going to just hit it with like a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Lightens it up. It's just fantastic. I love it. And with seafood I always like a little acid just to cut through the fishiness if you would. And salmon is a very oily fish but it's loaded with some fantastic omega fat. So it's a good fish for you. So now I'm just going to put this on a plate or a platter. And then, now, you know, ideally you would do this and cook the salmon at the same time. But because I'm trying to show you guys one step at a time, I'm going to do the salmon separately. So I'm going to cover my veggies with a little bit of aluminum foil just to keep them nice and warm. And I have company, so I want to be respectful of that. So now, just setting this aside. And I'm going to prepare the salmon in the same whoops, in the same skillet. Why not, right? There's no need to get another skillet dirty. Now, this is my salmon. I have here four pieces of four ounces, they're four ounces each of beautiful fillets of salmon, and those are just fantastic. So all I'm going to do is sprinkle a little salt and pepper on each side. And you want to make sure to do it on both sides. Now, in my skillet here, I added another couple tablespoons of olive oil and it's nice and hot. I have this over medium high heat. So I'm going to put in my salmon skin side down. Skin is edible, but it should be crispy. It shouldn't be soggy. So, skin side down. Beautiful. Now, also, I want to point something out. Unless your salmon, and this is my opinion, I'm not saying that you should think this way, this is something I do. Unless my salmon is sushi grade salmon, um, I like to cook it all the way through. Now some people like to eat their salmon, you know, medium, medium rare, but unless it's sushi grade, I like to cook it all the way through. But you just want to cook it so that it's cooked through, but you don't want to dry it out. So this will take, because it's about an inch thick, it'll take between about four minutes on each side for that perfect cooked through 
salmon flakiness that we all love. My salmon is perfectly cooked. Remember, we seared it on the skin side first, so now we have a really crispy, crispy skin. And look at the other side. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that beautiful? I cooked it for about four minutes on each side. And that is just going to be flaky and delicious. And look at that. I just want to make a little bit more room because I have one extra piece. Look at that. And that to me is just, that to me is beautiful. It's simple. It's cooked well because that's what's important. You don't need a ton of flavors. You don't need a ton of ingredients. Just cook it well. Let it go. Let that crispy skin come to life. And it's just wonderful. I like to just sprinkle a little parsley over the top. Mmm. And it's just, that, that's just beautiful. And I know I have company and I shouldn't be doing this because it's rude, but I know how you guys are. You like to see what the food looks like. Oops. I'll cover it up. Don't worry. But I need to, I need to try that crispy topping. That is so good. Did you hear that? Try and do it into the mic so you can hear the crunchiness. It's just such a wonderful, wonderful meal that you can make within 15 minutes, and it's beautiful. You can serve it to your loved ones. You, you can you know, entertain with it because it's fancy enough to entertain with, and no one will know that you just use a handful of ingredients in about 15 minutes. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Get on your kitchen and make the salmon recipe because it's a hit every time around here, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. To get the recipe and others, go to www.larainthekitchen.com. I'll see you next time because I have guests to tend to. Bye-bye.